So I posted these on my Instagram stories and you guys just went crazy. I got a lot of replies on how to create that effect and how I did that. Today I want to show you exactly this, so let's get straight into it. What is up guys, let's get started in Blender. First let's go to the preferences and make sure that our node wrangler uh, is enabled because we need this in a few seconds and if you want to get the node preview I recommend it to you to get it on Blender Market. I will link that down in the description and we can just start. So let's create a UV sphere, make shades move and let's go to the shading tab. Inside the shading tab, let's uh, click on this icon here and turn down the world opacity so we can see our shader a little bit better. Uh, give the shader a proper name uh, so we can find it afterwards. I call it transition shader. And let's make some room for our nodes here. And let's start with the first node and this will be the mix shader node. So let's search for the mix shader node. Oops and insert it right into the principle. This will be our main color, so we can give it like a red and turn up the metallic so it looks like a bit like a car paint and turn down the roughness. And now we have to put in another mix shader node. Here we will mix our mission and our chrome paint. So let's get the first one uh, combined with the emission and the second one will be our chrome painting or chrome reveal. So let's turn up the metallic, turn down the roughness to about uh, 1.02 something. And now we can create our noise texture so let's go ahead and search for the noise. And this is where our note wrangler comes in handy so let's press Control T and you get the mapping nodes. You can just uh, delete the connection here with the control right click and connect the object to the location and to the rotation. And now we have to create our controller. This will be a simple uh, empty object. So let's go to empty, plane axis. Let's name it controller so we can find it in our project afterwards. Let's go back to the sphere and assign the object here in the texture coordinates. Now let's create a mix RGB node and plug in the color 1 with the noise texture and color 2 will be the gradient texture. And we have to combine the vectors from our mapping to the gradient texture here. Okay, so let's make some room here. And now we have to plug the mix texture into a color ramp and the color ramp will go to the factor of the mix shader 1 and to the factor of our second mix shader with our chrome material. And this is basically it, so let's test our controller here. If it's working, press G and move the controller around. As you can see, we see a little bit of a transition, but we have to tweak it a little bit. So let's squeeze the color ramp here and now we have a much sharper transition. You can also invert it here if you want, but we want to reveal our chrome material here. And also we can um, leave the controller like that and play with the noise settings here. For example, the, the size and the detail of the noise and create various effects for your, for your needs. Let's tweak the emission a little bit, turn up the strength, uh, turn it to color you want. You can turn on the bloom in EV settings to see it better. And as you can see here, it's emitting light. And yeah, that's basically the shader. You can save it in a separate file and append it into your project. And we will do just that. So let's switch over to a car scene and apply the shader on our car paint and get the transition going. Let's go. So this is our simple car scene. Um, I built it up with some lights here with my some of the reflective HDRIs. 
You have to make sure that uh, your car paint layer is uh, on one layer, so the doors, the hood and everything is in one layer like you can see here. Now we can just append our file we created earlier, but before that let's check our render settings. I'm on Cycles Experimental GPU Compute. And now we go to File, Append and go to the file path you saved your transition shader, click on it, go to material and select the transition shader. And as you can see here our controller is in there so our shader is basically ready to go. And now we can select the car paint layer, go down to the material settings and delete the shader here and insert our transition shader. Just type in the transition shader and as you can see here it's already affecting the car but it's, uh, it's in the wrong direction. I mean, we have to change the direction here. To do that, uh, we just need to rotate our controller. Just press R on the keyboard and rotate it by minus 90 degrees. And as you can see here, it's uh, in a really nice position right now, we can just Press R again and rotate it as you as you wish, as you comfortable with. And yeah, you can see small spots like small blanks in our shader here. Uh, let's quickly fix that by going into the shader editor again. Let's uh, turn it up. Go to the shader editor and click on the car paint layer and go to the noise texture settings again and play around with the scale the detail and the roughness and you can quickly get some nice results on your shader, on your reveal shader here. And yeah, so let's play around with that. You can change the initial color here and go to the reveal color like the chrome paint. Play around with the settings as you can see here this is our chrome paint. Turn up the roughness a little bit. and. Now you just have basically to animate the empty and you're ready to go. And yes, I hope this tutorial was helpful. You can play around with it and make some nice content. And see you guys in the next one.